verse 3. Matthew 24, verse 3. What? And as he sat upon the mounts of olives, what? the disciples came and said unto him, 2,000 odd years ago, is it when Yahweh shy? The man who people ignorant, they call Jesus, basically, the water, the earth. You see me? This is what the disciple him asked him. You see me? Go on. The disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world. And what? And the end of the world. You see me? I read, I read a lot of signs. You see me? When, when, when the Lord basically tells you, look for a little while. A lot of signs you basically read. We show you that the end of the world, the end of this rulership, the end of the so-called white man kingdom. You see, go on back to the scripture. Verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. You yeah, see, Lana coming in chariots. You see it? You see it? They call Lala, Lord, you always shy the man of people ignorant. They call Jesus. I come back in one of the biggest chariots. You see me? So called UFO. You see me? Our, our, our so called flying saucer. You see it? So, so um, Yahweh Shai, I come back in. You see me? Some look like this. Go on. Um, coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. What? And he and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the earth to the other. And say, because Lord had elect from the four winds of the earth, because we scatter. You see, because you all go back to the curses. You see, the curse is basically now Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Say, Lord has scattered us from one end of the earth even to the other. Say, Lord, I will get an elect from the four winds of the earth, east, west, north, and south. You but, see? But, but the aim say, gather his leg, go back to the foundation for sure. Say, yo, we know out of everybody, because everybody now will get this, man. Gone. We're out of the elect, as the scripture says, we endure all things for the elect's sake, man. Yeah. So when we come out here with the mindset, say, yo, we're not going to understand what we are saying, man. We know, say, yo, the Lord is going to reveal it to him, elect, Gone. and the elect is going to turn back onto him, man. Gone. You see me? If I say that to you, you see me, Israel has got obtained that we should seek it for the election. I've obtained it, that and the rest were blinded. That is the elect have received this knowledge, man. Can. You see me, and them have got humble themselves and turn back to the Lord, man. Two thirds have got to throw a pass by, by and die, man. Can. You see me? Bring forth, huh? Alright, yeah. this is Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7. What? Behold, he cometh with, with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Behold, he cometh with clouds. You see me, and the clouds, they basically speak with the, the chariots. You see, you can give me um, um, Psalms um, uh, uh, 104. You see me, uh, verse 3, I believe. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Can you read this and then we go back to that here? Yeah? All right. Yo, so look here. You know, I'm serious. Religious obligation. Then I'm going to get some people. Yeah. 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 This is Psalms 104, verse 3. What? Who layeth the beams of his chambers in what? the waters? What? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who maketh his cloud his chariot? So we just speak about the clouds, Lord coming clouds, we just speak about the chariot. You see, what? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels spirits, see, his um, ministers a flaming fire, who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever. God. See, what the scripture now, brother? All right, Revelation 1 and verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Behold, how will shall come with clouds? Chariots. You see, go on. And every eye shall see him. But, but every eye shall see him. So everybody will live in, in, in that time when the how shall, you see me? I, 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 I make him second return. You see me, I go see how shall come. As I say, Yahweh Shagai is one of the biggest chariots. You see me, the fathership. One of the biggest, the biggest chariot. The biggest chariot, the biggest chariot. Go on. And they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. You must say, all kindreds of the earth shall wail. See, because of him, because Elijah come up with great wrath. You must tell that in Isaiah 66 and 15. Read back up again now. Go on. 
and they also which pierce him. That going into re reincarnation, man. Yeah. Isn't it? For you simple niggas that can't come to the understanding, man. Oh, the oh them were piercing. I got I got seen, man. The people in the dead. For sure, say oh them come back on the earth, man. Isn't it? Reincarnation doesn't mean back in flesh, man. Isn't it? Punishment. And they also which pierce him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. It's Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. It's what I said, behold, the Lord will come with, it, with, with fire. I would just chariot it like a whirlwind. You see, because the lad, lad that come back, you see me? Basically, come back, he's so called white man, um, um, put on the knee like, and like what scripture said in, um, in, in Isaiah, in Isaiah 47. So I will not meet this a man. You see, the lad that come back, he's so called white man, crucify him again. The lad that come back this time, basically, I'll destroy the so called white man kingdom and remove him from all that rulership. You see, because when the lad that come back, I'll deliver the elect from the four winds of the earth, as the scripture said. <laughs> This is Obadiah, verse 21. <laughs> and saviors shall come up. Saviors shall come up on Mount Zion. To judge the Mount of Esau. And the kingdom shall be the Lord. Isaiah chapter 66. Verse 15, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. You see me? I would just hunger, so Lord, yeah, I wish I come back with hunger. You see me? So when them so-called church are basically a, a, a teach for. You see, Lord, I come back with anger. You see, the Gila have got to happen um, 2,000 years ago. People say, if the man, the brother of the scripture, really, say, if the man will pierce him, shall see him. All, all if them, if them, 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 them wicked ass, uh, we basically uh, 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 a punish you, I wish I, a smite, a smite, I wish I, a prophesy to me, who smite you. All of them for pierce what they do, yo. Because they come up with hunger. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, what? and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the slain of the Lord are going to be many. So let the people get put to death, yo. So by, by the Lord, the whole world should be ashamed of basically destroy a lot of people. You see, because people love this way of life. You see, me am buck up against, buck up against the road of your boss, me am shy. Say, Lord, I destroy them along with, along with the so-called white man, be the nations there. You see, for all the wickedness. You see, I was speaking to Jeremiah, um, I think at 25 and 33, he said, slain the Lord, I'll be from one end of the earth, even to the other. And for sure, how much people are going to put to death, yo. You see, me, Lord, I come back and laugh with nobody like all them so-called church, they like to believe, yo. You see, what? This is Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 33. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. Can, the the Lord was love, huh? Can. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, like what them church are teaching. You see, them show you see us, Lord, how we shall basically um, um, come back basically come do. Show you how we see us to be from one end of the earth even unto the other. A lot of people are get put to death you, by them chariots. You see, hey. the chariots are zap them. You. Um, just it? for audio, these people believe, say, oh, the Lord Yahusha is a subjective power. Man. The word subject means for under rule. It Man. means that the power of the Heavenly Father is under their rule, yo. Man. That's why in these churches, they always say, I decree and declare. Man. You see, what power them have to declare and declare, what power no, of the Heavenly Father never decree and declare. Man. You see, them put, the heavenly, them put the Son of the Heavenly Father to death, and they believe, say, oh, um, a judgment or recompense now will come for that. They believe say yo, him now a comfort and render him in um him in vengeance with anger and fury. You understand? Yo, the devil father, the son of the devil father have come and he have to do damage for that, yo. That's why as we refer back to the scripture. He said, even them that pierced him shall see him, yo. What do you think I got up to them man they will pierce him? Yo, the man have to do something about that, yo. Because he's the almighty power, yo. Exactly, the truth is saying I come back for vengeance, man. Why am I come back for vengeance? That means I do something to him, yo. 
Yes, and you, you touch off like I you. Man. You understand? That's why all of that go off me. You see me? Man. And two thousand people get put to death before they do. And two thousand odd years ago. Right. You see me? We we'll, we'll kill him and let him blood be upon us and our children. So they might get put to death for that to you. Mm -hmm. So we we'll pay for what they do. You see, because the same generation at the time of Yahusha, the same generation back here today. So I'll be sure you two examples, but the brother read look wild. They'll be pierce him. You can see him. Go on. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. See me, nobody never bury them. They never lie in the streets. You see me? And the house is them with this, but them this kind of dwelling. And nobody never bury them. They must stink. You see? This is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off. In all the land, it come, and it shall come to pass in all the land. In which land? In land of America. You see me? Two part therein shall cut off. Is it? That are, that are two third of people. This is the majority of people that get put to death. What? Shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. What? And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. Go See, because I got you, I got you a, a lot, a lot of uh, affliction. You see, because as I read earlier, you see, the greater evil that what we are supposed to see right now, you see, me there ahead. So we are going to go through a hard time, the hardest part. You see, me have been in this job, we are approaching the time right now. You see, that's the reason why we are the Lord, the Abash, we are us up right now. You see, because what are ahead, you see, me, we are greater than what we are seeing right now. You see, so it was every man, every man, I get tried, every man, everyone, every, 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 every man, basically, every man, every man build fun, I get, get all tested, it's perfect in scripture. You see it? Uh, um, uh, what is it? Like, as gold is tried in the furnace. So it's after the man in the furnace of adversity with perfect scripture. Exactly, yeah, like, yo, this is like the spiritual Navy SEAL, yo. Done. You know, the army, the US Army, them have a special force known as the SEALs. You see? What them do is put them to a position of hardship and pressure them to give up, man. You see, the drill sergeant them say, yo, give up, give up. While them put them to affliction. Done. See which one tap up, man. So in this truth, we are the one them we are got through that 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 seal train, yo. You see, because the affliction that we, we got through, as as the scripture say, yo, the position of fire, the position of difficulty, is who are refined us. For make we tried and 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 showed, so that um, the scripture say, yo, give diligence to make that calling and election sure, man. So there's a separation between what the elects, the elites of Israel, separate from the from the others, yo. Hence the term elite. The, hence the term elite is man. You understand? This is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai. But I suppose what endure hardness as a good soldier. You see? No man that word entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. That he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. What? And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. Say I try for mastery, say I try basically. We are basically a try, you see me, or a try try basically a master ourselves, I basically become perfect. We should not be perfect on this side still. You see, we're supposed to strive for perfection. Hey, um, and you say um, the only way more I receive it, and I seem to do it lawfully. God. And when you speak about the lawful way, of have to enter into the straight gate. God. You see, when the word straight, the reference of um, mean I'm a, a position of hardship. God. You see, because anybody what you are, the winner is a thief. God. God. Any other way is a criminal. Huh? <laughs> and, and the scripture say, um, he has chosen him to be a soldier. God. You understand? So this is like a spiritual military man, because, yo, when we are battle against, we are battle of flesh, against the flesh. Right. We are battle against carnality, wickedness. spiritual wickedness is right. in our places. Right. When you look around, we, it's all wickedness, man, watch it. Right. On the streets, you have women who walk up and down naked. Yo, man, we are men. What the fuck you think we are going to do? We have a high physique. You yeah. see me? Yeah. Of course, we are going to lust after them. Word lost means for this desire. But we lost enough for them, meaning, say, yo, we probably all are sin. Because we're not so lost, so lost 
of another man, woman. The flesh. Oh, the exactly, after the, the flesh. Yeah. You understand? So those are some of the wickedness that we have to battle against, man. Hey, the flesh looks up for them, but the spirit they say, hey, 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 hey you see? Because a lot of times we have to check ourselves and say, yo, that's not right, you see me? We have to correct ourselves in, in those ways. You see? And, it, and it's a hard battle to fight, man. You understand? I already spotted. That's why the scripture says, yo, he has chosen us to be a soldier. Because what we have to make hard, yo. Not, we're not supposed to only make hard with physical features, but with mind. You see, that's why the scripture tells us, say, yo, body, bodily exercise profited little, but spiritual exercise profited unto this life and to the life to come. You understand? So this is a part of the spiritual exercise, yo. When we come out here week in and week out, we're reading out of the scriptures to keep us what? Grounded, rooted in the truth, yo. We have to endure all of the hardship, all of the temptation, all of the destructions of this life, man. Right? Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. What's it? I endure all things, you see me, for the elect's sake. You see, because when the boy long, you see me, the, the boy long too, the elect, because the elect, our Lord, is on this side. You see, that's what we, we endure all things for the elect's sake. You see, that we are the right now, we endure all the afflictions, you see me, all the way I forgot you to do in life. You see me, for the elect's sake, because I want the elect's seal. You see, as soon as the elect's seal, we get the yellow to the speaking place. You see, God? that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Yahweh Shai with eternal glory. Um, first Timothy 6 verse 12. This is first Timothy chapter 6 verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. You must say fight the good fight of faith. You see, supposed to fight in this church. You're not supposed to give up your You see, because you have to give up, if you give up on this, you see, where you go back to? The society is what? The corrupt society, where you go back to? You see, nothing left in the society, man. Since like, was a fight, you will know? be like the dog will return and the vomit. God. But what the scripture says, arise and depart. God, this is not death, you are rest, man. You see me? God is polluted, man. That's why we have to rise and depart out of this place, man. We can't fall off our flesh. You see me? So we have to detach yourself from this world, man. You see me? And, and seek out spiritual wealth, man. You see me? That's why the scripture says, say, say, lay up for yourself, treasures in heaven, man. You see me? So that way I lay up right now. You see, we all just put for our bodies as a living sacrifice, man. You see me? So we can live spiritual church in heaven, man. So we can get the hope that your boss should keep in keep in the time to come, man. You see me? Go on. Lay hold on eternal life. Lay hold on eternal life. So that's what we are seeking for, eternal life. You see, the kind of idea. You see me? Ah, um, that's what we want, we can In this society, we are dead, you know. So we are killer. All day, all day long. You see? When, when this has not done, get um, second Corinthians 4 and 7. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So the Lord said, we are um, light affliction. So we are going to know, the Lord, how Bashimi Osha referred to it as a light affliction. But anyway, it's affliction. Yeah, but it is a bear my, my, my yoke. You see me? Not, not, not heavy. Right. You see me? You see? You see? You see? You can't to what? The glory we are going to receive. You see? Go on, brother. First Timothy chapter 6. Verse 12, fight, fight the good fight of faith. Chapter 4, 
verse 18, where we look not at the things which are seen. Because we look not at the things which are seen. You see, like how people have basically, you know, five years ago, I'm accomplished something in this society. You see, because we look not at the things which are seen. What? Call them temporary. God. All of this, the scripture said, um, this is the world of a past. What? Yeah, the care we all saw for, the care we desire, the house, the Man, same money. Feel. Everything yo, first of all, Jamaica have a sink. You see me? So all of this have a pass, yo. Okay, so when you look forward for these things were temporary. You see me? But at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal. So everything what we are looking right now is temporal. You see? What? But the things which are not seen are eternal. The things which are not seen is eternal. You see, the kingdom of heaven is eternal. You see, people say we walk not by, not by sight, but by, 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 by faith. You see, so we are looking look for what? We are looking for the kingdom. Our own mind, you see, our focus upon right now. You see, me? kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. You see, we are going to basically be in power. We don't basically worry about nothing again, not, not worry about um, finding nothing again. You see, like what we need right now are things. The kingdom of heaven, everything else. You see, so that's how we are looking, that's how we are looking towards. You see, from where you think, from where you think about you, when I even ask, I'm going to make it. This is Romans chapter 5, verse 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience. They worketh patience, man. I tell you the most as what? Long suffering, man. And what? And we're patient about to suffer. And what? And patience, experience. Now after experience, man. That's why man can't you know, come against the elders them out there long time from the pavement that put in the work, man. Them and the big been experienced, man. We wanna know what does the coming of the truth, man. We wanna go through, man. What kind of affliction on the go through, man? So come and come up against the elders, man. You see me? Go on. And experience. Oh, there's an experience. Oh, man. And the scripture will just read say, yo, um, the things that we are seeing and then we desire. So just give me um Hebrew um Romans 8 and 24. Uh, this is Romans chapter 8, verse 24. For we are saved by hope. So it says uh, patience, hope. And scripture says we are saved by hope, man. You see me? Go on. But hope that is seen is not hope. Say, hope that is seen is not hope, man. So if you give a seed, why sense you have a hope for it, man? It doesn't make no sense, man, because it's already dead, man. You see me? And that's, that's the power of your about Shimmy and Shai, man. The scripture says faith coming by hearing, man. Hearing of, hearing of the word of the Heavenly Father, man. You see me? When said to, to um, Timothy, man, because you see you believe, man. Bless the seed that I've, 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 I've believed and I've not seen, man. Thomas. 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 Can. Select ya. Yes, me. Tower that to act. Finish that act. That done. For what a man seeth, why does he yet hope for? So that's the whole point, man. Yes, me. Don't go on the priest with you. This is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 11. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit Man. of Man. righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Peaceable fruit of righteousness. You see, because our sin gets lot. So, so all the things we have got you, you see, we basically have to bear it. You see, people say, um, um, I will be the indignation of the Lord because I'm a sin against him. You see, when you're in the end, you're basically come up close, you see me on the other side. You see, because I'm a spirit job. You see? It's James chapter 5, verse 10. Take. For... Take, my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering affliction. Let's give us a take, my virgin, the prophet, for example. Read over again, huh? 
take my brethren, the prophets, which have taken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering affliction. Them say, oh, look on the prophets, them are fallen, man. We got through afflictions before thee, man. Take them as an example, man. Look on things them and them got through, man. Look on John. Where am to John? John and get cut off, man. Where am to Paul, man. Where them do Paul? Where them do Stephan? Them stone Stephan, man. Paul gets stoned to death and the most happy by the spirit and I am raised him up, man. You see me say, say take, take my virgin, the prophet as an example, read it over again, huh? Take my brethren, the prophets, which have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering affliction. So them to take them as an example, man. You see me? Because them been through the fire already, man. You see me? So take them as an example. You see me? Go on. Hey, I come. Them kill off all their prophets. Them left only Elijah. I'm a born and say, yo. How about, um, I'm here alone left. Go on. He said, no, we left 7,000 men on the boat to the knees of Baal. Hey, you know what's funny, you know? Them, them scriptures that we are read, yo, they show the characteristics of the men them, they, they have, the Lord used to roll with, yo. Them, them characteristics that look like some soft Christian niggas in the church, yo. Now them money are hardcore, man, yo. You see me? And of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. They say we count them happy which endure. Why are you going to count them happy, man? The scriptures say, yo, them that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, man. That's why we call them happy, them that endure, man. You see me? So we mark the scriptures like a list of a couple of men that endure, man. Go on. Ye have heard of the patience of Job. So if, I, if I know the scriptures, man, I read about the things, them, the affliction, them, what Job got through, man. You see me? Job got through a lot of affliction, where Job not lose, man. But why? I never lose my integrity, man. He still keep forth. The, the word of y'all about me out shy, man. So what the Lord do, man? Bless him a, a hundred full, man. You see me? Give him back double when they have, man. Go on. And have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. So, so him have tender mercy upon who? Them that believe upon him name, man. The scripture says, look upon the generation of old, man. If none ever call upon the name of the most high and was forsaken, man. You see me? So I'd have sure say, oh, the Lord have mercy upon them whom, whom I want have mercy, man. man. Them who give him words, man. Ah, watch it, bigger um take on Corinthians 11 and start at 23 man. And the scripture just tells us say oh, we the prophets them as an example, man. And this is um, a prophet, I declare one of the things they might go through, man. You see me? 